Welcome back, everybody. It is April 24th, 2018, 5.50 a.m. Very quick update for you. Uh, spring storm moves up east coast, threatens the Carolinas with severe weather. Now, this is a storm that has already affected many areas. Uh, I believe they had an area here... Okay, today, flood watches have been issued for states, uh, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. Now, let's take a uh, look at why. Uh, here are our current temperatures, 55, 53, 48, 42. We are getting a little warmer in the northeast as the sun comes up, which is a good thing. Near the coast, a little bit cooler. Uh, averages rise as we get down into the gulf. Uh, pretty good morning temperatures. I would love to wake up to these mornings every day if I could. Uh, again, this is Doppler radar view of this storm we're talking about, a low-pressure system moving across the Carolinas. Again, already road closures in Georgia, many areas of Georgia, but the main concern is going to be the Carolinas today. Uh, we have three different energy spots. We have this one going on off the coast of North and South Carolina, moving into Virginia. We got our South Florida energy flow moving up from the Gulf into the Atlantic Ocean. And then we have another low pressure in Texas we got to keep an eye on. So let's take a look at this. Here is the severe weather threat. Now this is going to bring heavy rain and wind. We're talking a lot of rain. Now you can check this article out. Uh, you can see the double low pressures here. Uh, they kind of swing up and they move up into the East Coast. This was on Monday, which was yesterday. This is what we're going to be dealing with today. Heavy rain for the Carolinas and any of these yellows and stuff you see, uh, high wind rates. So we're looking at some gusty winds, uh, some coastal erosion, flash flooding. And then by Wednesday, the coastal storm should spread rain into New York City, Boston, and the rest of the Northeast. But some of the rain could be heavy, but major flooding is unlikely. So this is more a, um, a mid-southern storm, uh, if you want to call it that, only because the Carolinas is basically that cutoff line before it starts to weaken a little bit. You can see we could get up to four inches of rain in just a couple hours with this uh, situation. Also, Atlanta, Georgia, moving up through the western areas of South Carolina, North Carolina, into Tennessee and Virginia, could experience something pretty similar today, so we got to keep an eye on that. Now, really quick, before I let you go, we'll just take a look at it on Tropical Tidbits. Um, I hate to cut this short, but i got to get going. But we can see here, this is our main area of concern. This is going to move up through the coast of North and South Carolina and into Virginia. Again, already did its damage in Georgia. We had tornado threats with this system. And as it moves up and we pass into Thursday, we have another low pressure system that kind of hooks above Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and then into South and North Carolina once again. Now, in my opinion, this is going to get a little bit bigger just because of the energy going around it, and we have a little bit of a push from a front coming down. So we're going to talk about that later on this afternoon, and uh, we also have some tropical storm situations going on in the Atlantic Ocean, or at least a possibility of. So we're going to take a look at that as well. You can see a low pressure system here going right over the Bahamas, it's beginning to look like. Uh, this doesn't mean it's going to become a hurricane, it means that the Atlantic Ocean is warming up for the potential of these tropical depressions, then we get tropical storms and then our hurricanes, guys, so we have a lot to watch right now. Um, again, if you want to check this article out, it's in abcnews.go.com. I know a lot of people aren't up or uh, happy with mainstream media, but as far as weather goes, it's a good source to find these charts so you can get a better idea of what to expect for your day. All right, guys, got to get going. I will talk to you all this afternoon. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.